As the search for survivors continued in Italy's cruise ship disaster, the Italian Coast Guard says the number of missing has jumped by more than a dozen. Among those whose whereabouts is unknown, two Americans from Minnesota, 69-year-old Jerry Heil and his wife Barbara. They were among more than 4,000 people aboard the vessel. Monday, relieved survivors now back in the U.S., hug their families and explain what the disaster was like. The ordeal was really bad. Everybody was pushing everybody. There was not an organization. There were people that actually jumped off their lifeboats to swim ashore because they, they were afraid that the boat was going to come on top of them. The company that operates the vessel, a subsidiary of Carnival Corporation, has distanced itself from the captain. Its top executive says the ship went off its programmed route, and that decision rested solely with the captain who is in jail pending an investigation. In particular case, the captain decided to change the route, and he went into water that he did not know in advance. Italy's Coast Guard has released these photos of divers going inside the Costa Concordia looking for survivors making their way past overturned furniture, floating bottles, and other debris. But their efforts were dealt a blow when the area's waters turned rough and the ship moved. Uh, this morning, because of the rough sea, moved uh, nine centimeter on the vertical way and the nine uh, and one and a half centimeter horizontal way. That's why, according to our safety procedure, the personnel uh, uh, evacuate the boat. In addition to the human tragedy, officials also worry about a looming environmental disaster. The ship holds more than half a million gallons of fuel oil, and removing it must be done quickly. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.